Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the existence and nature of God. Now, because God is infinite and we're not, we can't ever come to a full understanding of his nature, but we can at least learn a few things about it. Today, does God have any incidental properties? What's an incidental property? It means some property of a thing which doesn't need to be part of it in order for that thing to be what it is. For example, there are dogs with brown fur, but a dog doesn't need to have brown fur in order to be a dog, so the brown fur is an incidental property of a dog. The ancient philosophers called incidental properties accidents. There are a few good ways to look at this issue. First, when something has an incidental property, that means that it has some property which it potentially might not have had. However, God doesn't have potential in that sense, as we've recently discussed. Secondly, God's existence is the same as his nature, as we showed last episode. But although just about any nature can have additional properties added to it, you can't add any additional properties to existence itself. Think about it. The universe exists, but anything new that you add to the universe will only be part of the universe. It won't actually be an addition. The only thing that isn't part of existence is non-existence, and adding non-existence to existence isn't an addition at all. In that case, you're just subtracting from the number of things that exist. So God can't have anything added to him which isn't already an actual part of him. Finally, Incidental properties could, in theory, be removed, and the thing in question would still be what it is. However, it's impossible for anything to be removed from God. If it were possible to remove something from God, he would need to pass from a time when he had that thing to a time when he didn't have it. Therefore, God would be in time, rather than being eternal. Therefore, he would not be God. So, removing anything from God would cause him to not be what he is. Therefore, there are no incidental properties of God. Next, is God part of anything else? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.